Good morning everyone and welcome back into another Disney Dining Review. And today we are here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. And what are we here for? We are here for breakfast at Steakhouse 71. Absolutely. Now we've done dinner here at Steakhouse 71 since it's been changed over to the wave. We're going to try breakfast this morning. And uh, we're going to get in there, we're going to have breakfast and uh, show you all the goodies they have. And then we'll give you our review. Let's head on in. So today I decided to go with the seasonal pancakes. Right now they have a pumpkin spice pancake, which sounded really yummy. So it is the season, we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna get the steak and eggs and they'll do something a little bit different, at least for me. Normally I'll just get like eggs and bacon. I'm gonna get steak and eggs today. I'm gonna get it, uh, it comes with a filet, it comes with potatoes, uh, the breakfast potatoes, and uh, two eggs. I get my eggs over medium. My steak will be medium, and it comes with Bernays sauce on the side. So I'm really excited, and uh, hopefully it's good. It's a chilly day here in Florida, only 57 degrees, so I got a salted caramel latte. <laughs> of course she did. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> All right, so steak and eggs for me. Um, I'm gonna try a piece of the steak first. We got it done medium. It looks a little bit closer to medium rare, but I think we'll be all right. Let's try it. Wow, that's really good. Very tender, good flavor to it. Um, cooked. Again, it's a little red for me, but I think it's, it's ultimately gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get a little bite of the the egg as well, because I want some. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain it, Melissa, maybe you could. It's got a little bit of extra flavor to it. I don't know if they put something in the egg, but overall, really, really good. I'm, I'm happy with it. This looks pretty amazing. It looks very sugary, but it looks really good. So let's give it a try. So I like these pancakes. I actually, if you can see, I took a, there's three in the stack, but they're thin. They're not really overly thick or dense. They're very fluffy and light. They have a really good cinnamon flavor that I got off the initial bite. It's a cream cheese icing on the top. Uh, this is actually really, really good. So we are done our meal, our breakfast at Steakhouse 71. So I'll go first. Steak and eggs for me it comes with the home fries. The eggs were over medium. Steak was medium. Uh, overall, I loved it. Everything about my meal was really, really good. The steak was really good. It was probably cooked a little closer to medium rare than it was medium for my taste, but it was still really, really good. I still ate it all. Man, if it was great where I wanted it to be cooked, it probably would have been phenomenal, but it was still great. Eggs were good, really tasty. Home fries had a nice flavor to them. We always use flavorful a lot in these videos, but it's but that's a good but thing. It's important. Yeah, yeah it I is. I think it has to have you know not overly seasoned or under seasoned. It seems to be just right there. Yeah. So mine was really really good. I was very happy with what I got. So I was as well. Um, I you know as you think of it, oh, it's a pancake, but these pancakes were exceptional. I, I really enjoyed them. Um, they were just fluffy and light, and the outside had a little bit of crisp on the edge of the pancake, which I really enjoy. Some people don't like that, but it was so good. Just enough flavor of that pumpkin, you know, that pumpkin spicy flavor in the pancakes. Nothing overpowering. They had the uh, cream cheese and the, a candied pecan on the top. Oh my gosh, it was scrumptious. I really enjoyed it. I got my bacon crispy, which I love. I also had added in a, a caramel latte after the fact, which was quite good. It was a salted caramel latte. So the pairing of 
of those things were really, really good. I enjoyed this and I say definitely come here. We've eaten here probably more than a half a dozen times. And, 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 and to be fair, we have eaten here for breakfast in the have. past too. We just <laughs> didn't want to give that away in the beginning. But we had never done a review. So we were like, well, let's do a review. Uh, it's phenomenal. And value-wise, it was really priced well. I mean, I think it was like $35 before tip. Right. And, for the uh, two of us. Yeah. Now, for Disney pricing, that's really good. I mean, there are other places where you can go and have really good breakfast. Most of them are character-related. So the price is going to be twice that much. Um, it was, you know, for two people, I thought that was really reasonable for Disney. And the food here is always very consistent. We have Consistently not had good. A, a bad meal at Steakhouse 71, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oh, yeah, change hands. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's all right. Keep going. But whether breakfast, lunch, or dinner, we've eaten here multiple times. We are very impressed by the, the quality and just the consistency of good food. Um, I say definitely check it out. It's a great place to come and enjoy your, your meals any time of day. Yep, I agree. There you go, guys. Steakhouse 71 at the Contemporary Walt Disney World. We love it. We think you will, too. Let us know if you go. We'd love to know what you thought of it. But that's it. Until next time. Take care of yourselves and each other. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, gang.